Okay, the topic of today's little video clip that I've made for you is how to use Google Documents. This semester, each student will be required to obtain their own free Google Documents account. You can reach it by going to docs.google.com. Just type that in and you should be able to go ahead and create a Google account if you don't already have one. And then you'll be able to access the Google Documents uh, area. The, um, the reason we're going to be using Google Documents, it's in lieu of using or instead of using Microsoft Word or Adobe to do the majority of your social work uh, assignments. And because I believe this will eliminate any problems that we've had in the past with viruses, compatibility issues, um, your ability to get on the network on campus, um, whatever problems, we want to eliminate those because I really want you all my students to just focus on learning and not the technical side of it. Uh, I expect all students to have their Google Documents account set up on or before the first class session. Now keep in mind, although you will be saving documents to um, Google Documents, you still need to make backup copies of all your work. If you, if you have a flash drive, I would suggest you get another one as a backup and keep that strictly for your social work documents. Um, but you should keep a copy of all your work on your own personal flash drive, your own personal computer, uh, backup your important documents to a CD or a DVD at least, I'd say, once a week, once every two weeks, if you're going to burn to a CD or a DVD. And you should also keep paper copies of all your important materials. It's better to be safe than sorry, and you can never back up too much. Now, when you get to Google Documents, it's fair, very easy to use. Um, but if you want to create a new document, you just click on New, and you select the type of document that you want to use. There's a lot of other great things here in Google Documents that I found that you might even want to use for other classes. I'm going to open up the social work uh, log form so you can see what that looks like. And that actually opens up into a new window. You'll see the log form, social work internship, log narratives, log week one. And you can just change it to whatever week it is. I'm going to give you this template, of course. Type in your name, sample student. Now, it's talking about part one content. You've all done this before, so I know you're very familiar with um, the log form and the questions that are asked. But I have rearranged the questions in a different order a little bit. You'll still see question number one, describe the event. Now, you'll see some text here that is actually in Latin. All you really need to do is just select it. And then once you start typing, um, It'll eliminate that text and it'll continue to give you more and more room for, you know, typing your information. And then once you're done, you can just click save. But I'm going to um, cancel this. Oop, hope I did that right. Nope, I'm just going to close that. And there we are. We'll go back to the main menu. So, see, it's fairly easy. If you have any problems or questions, you should, of course, consult me. Um, please feel free to make an appointment, and I'll be happy to help you. So once again, we'll be using Google Documents this semester, um, and this shall eliminate the need for using Microsoft Word or Adobe Acrobat or any of the other programs that you typically use. This will ensure that we won't have any um, file compatibility issues or viruses. So have a great semester.